Hello friends, welcome to the channel. If today is your first time visiting with us, I want to extend you a very warm welcome and invite you to look at our over 350 videos as we are very confident you're going to find something that, you, that is both useful and enjoyable for your viewing pleasure. If you've been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. for you and that is recycling and upcycling and repurposing something again we found a one dollar uh, drawer. drawer and if you remember we used some other one dollar drawers to make our wood organization system but we're going to transform this into a what? Um, an under counter spice rack an under counter spice rack Whatever spice rack, not spouse rack. Spice rack. <laughs> or spouse rack. If you want to put your spouse under a cabinet. You can fit her in there. If you can fit her in there, that, that would be amazing. But uh, let's start working on this. And we're going to get back with you and show you exactly how we did this project. So we're Stick going around. to start by removing the old rail that we don't need it anymore. And we'll do that on both sides. And we're going to keep that because these are actually fairly expensive things to buy in the store, right? I don't know. I'm not priced that. Take my word for it. They're very, very expensive. And take my word for it. You have to take all the screws out. All the screws are necessary. Yes. Otherwise, it doesn't want to come out. There's more. But wait, there is more. Okay. You dropped it. I dropped it. Okay. So the, there is another one, it's going to go ex exactly the same way, we're not going to show you that, but I will also remove the handle. Uh, hey, I don't think we need to remove the handle. Yeah, so we can mix it, it is dirty. Oh, so you want to clean it? You don't want to remove it, I'm not going to remove it. You can take it off and you can clean it, but we're going to need a handle. Alright friends, we're in our kitchen, and as you can see the drawer is actually longer than the, the depth or deeper than the depth of our cabinet. So what we need to do is take a measure of our cabinet okay and that will translate this measure to the drawer and then we're going to cut it. So let's go outside and do that. We're having a hard time removing the, the handle uh, so we are not going to because it just doesn't work the trouble right now and we brought the, the drawer outside and now we are going to set up our table saw and our sled to be able to make the cut that we need so give us a few minutes to set up the table saw and we'll be right with you I should... mm -hmm. all right we've set the drawer on our saw and we have clamped it so it will not move and we have transferred the measurement of what we want to do and because our uh, sled is actually a little smaller than we need we're actually going to start the blade and then bring it all the way up and cut it that way. Does that make sense? Sure. You say it should, but it doesn't seem comfortable. Ready? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes.
right? So now can you let the kid not come in? Stop with pressure on or not. Yes. All right, so we reposition the, the drawer so we can cut the last two cuts. behind the blade, the way the blade is going to go. I'm not sure. Does that look correct? Um, just slight a hair towards this side. What is this? There. there you go. Yep. <coughs> Are you recording all this? Yep. Now we have to take this apart so we can or use another piece. This thickness, if we have another piece. All right, let us find another piece for the back of the drawer, and we I'm shall return cut the back of the drawer, the new back of the drawer. the tight fit and we have a tight fit and then we're going to just save a little bit here on the top this little mm -hmm. piece so we're going to set the saw for that and we'll be right with you all right ready Pretty good. So now we're going to both glue and staple it, right? Mm -hmm. I need to make sure that it is flat. Does it look flat? No, because there is that no, there's nothing there. I'm going to go underneath okay. all the area.
Now, you might think it's excessive how many um, brads I hit there, but this piece is going to actually support the drawer, right? Mm -hmm. So we definitely, unlike a normal drawer that this piece is just there to, to complete the drawer, in our case, this will support all the weight and we definitely want it to be strong, right? Yep. We also had a little bit of imperfection there and we glued it. Mm -hmm. And of course with the brads there, that is going to hold fine. And we have still a little squeeze out and that's good. That means that we have a good contact in the joint. All right. I think I want to clean this, what do you think? Okay. Nothing exciting here, I will just take a chisel and I'm going to clean this area. So this is not a necessary step, but uh, this is going to be in our kitchen. We just want it to look nice when we open it, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not using a sharp chisel. I could probably do this with a screwdriver, right? It is a bad, bad chisel. Okay. And this is now clean. Some more glue over there in the corner. I do? Mm -hmm. Where? In the corner. Okay. Okay. All right, with the drawer now correctly in the correct dimensions, we are ready to attach our piano hinge that will attach it toward the bottom of our cabinet. So we're going to drill holes. Is that uh, approximately in the middle? What do you think? I think Short one. A short one. I could swear that the one can handed me to test the thing I put back in the bag. No, we're good. I know one. What? Yeah. I'd already installed one and I wasn't counting for that. Are you recording or you stop? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make sure that... All right, friends, and the, the last part of the assembly is a small self. So we're going to double the capacity of our little uh, drawer. And we have already cut it in the correct dimensions. And now we're going to attach it using brad nails. You want to bring it here? Tell me when you're ready. You want to put it in the top to make sure it's okay? Okay. Those are not the same height, honey. They are the same height. They're the same. Exact same bottle. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm holding. Wait, I, I don't I want to move it a little bit. There. Okay. That means. Okay. 
okay, we're in our kitchen and we are going to attach the piano hinge on the bottom of our cabinet here. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of hands to show you. I mean, it, it's going to be self-explanatory, but we're going to come back with you when this is attached. Doing something? Yeah, we're recording. We're showing them. This is how the piano hinge is being installed underneath the Why are you taking that off? Because he had a hard time with this. Oh. So those were the pilot holes. And now installing the screws. Now we're installing the pilot. Mm. Found it. Oh, found it. <laughs> Honey, where are you hiding a screw? I was holding it. Ooh. Okay, you want me to do that one? Where is it? No, it's not magnetic for some reason. I was yeah, hoping I it will be. You might need to tighten the other end ones that I did too, just to smudge. A smudge? A smudge. Is that the technical term? Yep. Very tight. I wish this was magnetic. Sorry. This takes 58 people. How many people does it take to make a small screw? Okay, there is a hole there. Okay, so what we've discovered is that. There's a very tight space once you get the piano hinge on there. Not a lot of space for the drawer to go back. Get the so we're going to have to do manually instead of with a power drill. And that's the space we're working in. Okay, so here we are uh, placing the magnets on the side of the drawer that is now installed under the cabinet. We're drilling pilot holes for the screws. Okay. Let's hold on a second. Hold on a second. Move it upside down. It needs to be flushed this way, right? Excellent. Yes. Okay, show me now why we had it upside down. Because this should be flush here, like this. And how it was before? Below. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could go either way, but right. in this, so for this use, we have to do yeah, it this way. Flush. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And these magnet sets came with screws. Pretty hardwood. That is very hardwood. And they are old drawers, obviously, that we got from Restore. Wait, wait, uh, wait. What? Look what happened. It slid it down. Moved, so you need to back okay, it off. Okay, you need to back it off then, honey. Okay, you need to back it off. So, what happened here is that when we placed the first screw, it tightened everything up essentially had the second screw hole, the pilot hole, out of alignment. So what we were able to do is back the screw off, replace it, and then go again. Okay. Screw dos. And now here we have... Is that it? No, that's for the top. Mm -hmm. That's no. not the correct screw. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well. Okay. We need a screw hole, right? Pilot so hole? now, uh, yes. the magnet is attached and underneath we're going to use the 
magnet itself to guide the pilot Let's see if that. I don't know if I can do it or not. We have the plate installed, as you can see there, and then the magnet. Do it one more time. Okay? And we're going to put exactly the same type of magnet on the other side. Well, we have reached the end of our episode and here is our finished project. And as you can see, it is a nice fit and also utilizes very well our space. We plan to refinish our cabinets and when we do, we're going to totally match the color. But even so, the color is not a perfect match right now, it still looks pretty good. So, we're going to show you how useful it is by taking this new project from this do this. Alright friends, we've reached the end of our episode and we are very pleased with the outcome of this project. It has its challenges but uh, with perseverance you will be able to, to achieve it and we think it adds an, an additional, uh, not only storing space in the kitchen but also use a space that traditionally is not used, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching our episode today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please smash that like button if you didn't the other button works as well so make sure to smash it twice share like subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments and we appreciate your support from the garage wizard mrs wizard Elpida and the urban homesteading channel we bid you a great week <laughs>